And now we think we go into this uh, question of the I, which has a lot to do with coming to myself, perceiving myself, nurture myself, and gently uh, becoming awake for myself and my inner forces of growth. Uh, the I here I have again written RE. Uh, let's closer to the English pronunciation what's meant here. When you speak I, maybe you try it, I, then you can notice that in a way an R, it's very open, I, it consists from th three, at least three sounds. It's a process of an R, an A, and an I, an E in this sense, yeah, I, yeah. These qualities we have practicing uh, in the mirror, uh, module three. Okay, let's try, let's just start for those of you who want and look into this I now. And behind the I, yeah, there is the quality of the moon. And just for one exercise, just let's do a little bit. I do it a little bit small, then you can see it. Just feel a little bit into this sphere around you, which we have also felt in this the A. And then slowly bring this energy in. But make with your hands a little bowl. And then just bring this energy to the other side. And let it arrive and bring it to rest. But it's not draining through. You don't give it away. You keep it. Like a seed, yeah? A plant was big. It was in the in the earthly heaven in a way, in the sunshine, the birds came. But then in the autumn, yeah, something else happens, and all these fruits come about. And just do it again. And they gather everything was what out there in them and what was up in the air is now under the earth and it's containing here protecting not pressing it con protecting it until it's time to grow again do it with the other hand again just go out there and bring what's there slowly in roll your hands in but keep the space open. Let the life rest in your hands, but keep it quiet. And then let go again. Now we let's do it both again, both hands again. And that's what in your wrist is called the moon gesture. You are connected with what's there. You slowly come in. Everything comes into your hands. You bring left to right, left, right to left. You cross the hands and make them rest on each other. Huh? And you have see that each gesture is there. You see the five-pointed star in the arms, I mean, if I'm being a little bit more there. And you have a connection, but now, now from here to what's below your diaphragma. It's here, but you feel this potential of growth in you. Yeah? So everything is just potential. And if you are there, the circumference, yeah, it's not there anymore. The birds are not thing, the butterflies aren't there, but the memory of what you could again become as a nice flower, it's there. So what now, what is out there, comes in. Enters the inner space, the darker space is protected. I feel myself potential to grow and the circumference like a memory it's there it's waiting it 
will wake me up, but it's a memory. And let go. There's a video on the moon gesture in the course, so you will can go through it once again. In the sequence, now and when we look at the, the, the refraining from little wishes, uh, it has a lot to do with the space in between. So when we now have this moon gesture in the background, that's why I brought it, just take your hands for a while in front of your chest. Feel yourself like always, stay with yourself. And then slowly open up your arms and use your lower arms just to feel the space you're going through until you're open. And when you come in, feel every millimeter of the space you're passing through. Don't miss anything. You harvest everything. You bring all with you in. And then go out again. And now we are interested in the space we are going through. And again, come in. Notice the quality of every minute. And let go. Feel your body. When we now go on to the eye gesture, you have this process eye, then we have this R. Yeah? And just maybe feel it in your hands, the R. And then in a, just Make it a little bit like this, that one hand turns and the other hand just approaches the arm. And then you see the, the E starts to come about. And in a way it's, I enter, I perceive, I meet this arm. And where something feels met, it starts to grow. It feels perceived. So my arm starts to grow and this makes my hand move a little bit further. And now my arms feel perceived here, touched here. And that's what makes it grow. And for this reason, my hand is here and my arm grows. And so my hand comes up to my shoulder, not, and I'll just relax again, not because I pushed it up or I pulled it up, but because this arm grew and grew and grew and grew. And this brought my hand up but it did not grow by itself, but it grew because it felt seen, it felt touched, it felt perceived on all these places. Yeah? Let's do it with the other arm. We have this openness. Yes, we are interested. They come closer. And now this dialogue style takes place. And my arm grows, and the other one just comes up, and I let go. Those of you who know the eye gesture femur with me, know it, and we can do it, and that's, that's what I tell you is just what's behind this, that you just go along as if you would just caress your arm like this, and then you go here, and you caress your arm like you would caress a child. Yes. My, yeah. And all the positive feelings and positive ways of touching you put into this gesture. Yeah. And and what's behind it and what I would suggest you can look at is that this quality there is the A, the E, and the E in it. And as soon as you start to feel this, this lets you arrive at yourself and lets you grow. And that's the reason why you do it to a child too, because you do this, the child feels it, and this gives growth forces and health forces to the child. A child which is caressed is more healthier than a child which is not touched. And it's not touched, it's touched.
touched the eye yeah and we take this knowledge which is behind it in this exercise to get this aspect out of it we try it one more time and the video explains it in broadness just here the R openness I feel the other arm the arms feels fed grows grows and what happens in my arm naturally if I stay with myself has also happened in myself my press reacts and that's what we want to achieve yeah and in this dealing with wishes it's also ah it's so nice it I like this what I have and now how can I to act with the sympathy in a way that I still grow from it and not get lost in it and it doesn't need very much just consciousness okay and now we go into how the exercises of the sequence I have shown you this slowly going out and in and now we remember this process uh, we take it apart now yeah there is this R and we just do an R gesture we weigh out and then we let them weigh in and this leans us a little bit backwards and as soon as we feel this R makes us grow we are there we cross the arms and create the E and we ray through it and then we feel now we have this energy of E and then we continue out of this we do this rooting ourselves and this makes us grow E and we let go and we try to remember two things that everything what has happened in your rhythm does not go away we feel the R when we do the E still and when we do the E we feel in a way behind it the force of the R and the A in the E supporting it that we still notice this E comes out of being open receptive daring to meet and this lets us grow that's the story we want to embody in a way or to experience in our body I do it in profile once again because what also happens is that in a way this process brings us in our center naturally we do the R we way out this creates the strain in and naturally it brings us on the heels and through being on the heels the energy from the earth strengthens our back and support us we do the E gesture and we have still the R in mind but the E makes us feel the whole foot not just the heels and we have this R behind and then when we go continue to the I now then this rooting and this upright streaming makes our heels light and we are on the balls and we have arrived in our verticality we are not leaned backwards anymore as it was in the A and in the E where we were still a little bit behind the crossing okay next uh, suggestion in the video sequence is we do it with our legs just that we bring it further down that we try to feel it and the legs are a little bit more clumsy than our arms they have a different task they are not expressionists for our soul life but we bring it a little bit to them so we do the R by placing one foot aside and we go into this legs from our heart that naturally the heels are just uh, emphasized and we receive energy through our legs we continue and cross the legs and feel this crossing as we had it in the columns too 
and we wait until we feel yes, the E is there. And then we take the leg with it behind and use it to make an eye gesture and ray from the heart through the leg and maybe do it in a way that the heels of the other leg become light by themselves, just because we're in the eye. We place the foot in front, arrive and relax. We put the leg aside. Arrive in the R, in the A. I feel it, I rest in it, it carries me. Then we cross the legs into the E. The R is with us, it's behind us. We feel the R and do the E in the legs. And we bring the leg forward. I turn that you can see it. And I still ray through it, but I feel the I in my back. I feel the E, A, the force of meeting, and I ray through my leg, feeling my center. I place my foot in front, relax, and continue. Relax. The last, and feel your body. My body reacts quite strong at the moment in the back. It's so nice what's happening there. So the thing is, just don't, just don't go on because things only can show themselves if we notice them. So if you notice a tickling in the back, just hold in. Oh, how nice. Where do you come from? Mm. And then go on. Yeah? But here you are, I'm a little bit pushy now because I just want to give you the ideas and you can practice them yourselves. What we do now in this energy of the moon, of the eye, of the wishes is we want to learn to observe two things at the same time or to be, not just to observe, but to be with two things at the same time. So there is this cup of coffee and I'm also with me. So nice how you smell. Hmm? And I know what you, that you do me good sometimes. And I'm also with me and I listen to myself. What does my inner being say? Do I really need you now? And so on. And we do it in such a way and our deepest being, our will being, has a lot to do with the realms down here. Our head is more here our thinking and what do we really want? Yeah? But we have to learn to listen to these areas and just place one foot in front. And now we just walk. But we do it in a way that we notice, okay, just go a little bit forward and now notice that the standing leg won't move at all while we're doing our step forward. It stands, it carries me. And this, we feel it all the time. And the other leg slowly comes forward and we feel, oh, it's moving. It dares to go forward. It's not afraid. Oh, great. Thank you. And I feel this. And then I place it. Then I go a little bit forward. I feel the power in the standing leg, the supporting leg. And this other quality in the moving leg. And I try to feel both at the same time. Standing leg and moving leg. I place it in the last step. And okay. Thank you so much for looking into these things. Just take a seat or whatever you want and relax.